I'm delighted to be able to share with you why I find the Afrobromina so exciting. To get to the root of that, we need to start with the question of why data is important. And data is, of course, basically information. And it's the kind of information without which you can't understand how to do the most essential things like public planning, providing water, building effective and inclusive urban spaces. But data is also important in authoritarian contexts because it's something that governments prize and try and control. One of the things that we often hear from authoritarian leaders is that you know, for example, their people want them to be in power forever. Their people want them to remove presidential term limits. Their people want them to remove democracy. Actually, many of those claims have been lies, but we didn't have the data to know that and to be able to demonstrate it. We now do due to the Afrobromida, by actually asking tens of thousands of citizens across lots of different contexts, really great sets of political and economic questions, the Afrobromida has actually made it possible for us to say, actually, Mr. President, you know what? 89% of your population actually want democracy. 67% of your population are in support of term limits and so on. To be able to actually allow ordinary citizens to speak back and have their voices heard, even in authoritarian political systems. I think that to me is one of the most exciting and brilliant things that the Afrobarometer has done. And that's why I'm really excited about the Afrobarometer's 10 year plan. Because what this means by focusing on actually expanding the Afrobarometer to all African countries is that the data that we've so far had, data that has really enabled us to speak truth to power enabled us to really amplify the voices of African voters and citizens themselves and to make sure that what they're interested in and what they care about is not lost in the broader set of policy discussions and media reportage, that that process will now actually include a new set of countries that had so far been excluded from it. And I think that means that having been, for me, one of the most important and exciting uh, data processes and creation of new information for researchers and academics and journalists alike over the last 10 years. Over the next 10 years, the Afrobarometer is actually going to expand and do that on an even bigger and better scale. And that can only be a good thing for all of us, except, of course, for some of those authoritarian leaders.